have nothing to say. I just thought this would be a cool shot. Good morning. <laughs> oh, my succulents. Back in my bag and bitch, I ain't coming up out of it She cannot rap, she just talking fast and loud as shit I slow it down so these niggas can understand me I slow it down like I'm Drizzy before the Grammy I wrote it down because the loud fuck with my memory My kitty finicky, pet it attentively I mean, if he got any taste at all, he into me Player one versus computer, you ain't my enemy Bitch, I don't play games Snitching to your wifey, not ducking, not using code names Me and my pen is like Hank Killers to propane Deja Gore core, that's my campaign Ooh, ah, this really off the top Like I said, I had to write it down because I smoke a lot In the studio, a straw and a bottle of juggernaut All I play is my shit, nigga, pass the ox Alright, I feel like verse 2 is Where the breath control is gonna get tricky Let's see. Yeah, all right. I roll with dimes with no conscience. They into scamming and tricking. I used to love on these niggas, but they was blocking my mission. I give the pussy to no one, okay, on one condition. I want the world on a platter. I want it wrapped in a ribbon. I'm a bitch and a boss. No, really, I'm just a simp. I throw them off with my demeanor, money stacks and a limp. I got that energy, don't make me pull the plug out your socket. I run your daddy pocket, blushing red, giving them rocket. Pity a baddie who lost it Who let a nigga come along and pick it up and redrop it <laughs> I am doing really shitty today, thank you for asking No, like truly, I, thank you for asking Um, And hopefully that doesn't perturb you But I am the type of person where if you ask me how I'm doing, I'm gonna tell you if I'm like, you know, fantastic, this is the best day ever, I mean it. But if I'm like, pretty depressed in you, here we are. We're not gonna marinate too long because I need to open Bear's dog food so he can fucking eat it.
Do y'all see how he talks to me? Look at how I'm treated. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> relate to that rabbit in Alice in Wonderland because niggas invite him to everything and he's a good time it's just that even with him only having two things to do that day he is still overbooked and he constantly feels late and he's always rushing but he did not even do a lot like when you follow that rabbit in that movie you realize he did not go hella places he did not have hella plans like and the plans that he had were set in stone types of shit like they were not even sporadic plans like his plans were a tea party which is planned in advance and then that thing at the queen's court which is like it's the fucking queen so this was on a calendar like but either way it's just like i just be feeling frantic so this is what happened this morning Pizza was good. That's it, like, unique taste all on its own, though. Okay, so here's my dilemma right now. Right now, this song is, the beat was entitled Arubian Nights. Like, T-Watt labels his beats so well. Like, okay, yes, that's the vibe. But when I'm, like, vibing with it, my brain then went to the Emerald City and the Wiz. And so, like, whatever your concept of Arubian Nights is, whatever that brings to mind, fuse that with the Emerald City and the Wiz, like, the you've got to be seen green of it all. And that's where I'm at with this song. Like, so very cunty, you know what I mean? Here's the thing. Right now, I have one verse i don't like the last four bars of the verse so i'm not even going to put them for you but i have one verse in my mind i'm like oh i just repeat them twice but the problem with that is so that is where i'm at with my life would you like to hear it I'm flawless. Hit the floor where his jaw is. You ain't a boss. Please show me where the woman in charge is. Show me where the large is. I'm a big deal, daddy. I'm going to show you where the star is. Where I'm at is where the bar is. I'm a whole look into vibing an artist. We don't know how it ends. Hey, 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 hey. Mm, mm, mm. I went to yoga. It was fucking fantastic. I went to the plant store. I don't. I don't know how to angle this. Just bear with me. I got. Can you see? Can you can you see what I got? This is what I got. Okay, please don't look at me like that. Everybody has an everything drawer. This is mine. 
Um, and yes, I do get stressed out anytime I have to go through it. My All of my drawers don't look like this. Do I need to prove it? I'm not gonna do that, but they don't. This is just my one everything drawer. Um, but I, I, I found what I needed and that's the point. It really was a needle in a haystack situation, but I don't know. It's just the everything drawer is one of those situations where like, if you organized it, then I wouldn't be able to find my shit. So just let everything just slosh around in there. This feels sturdy. You feel strong. She feels tight. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't necessary. I didn't have to do that. You're right. I'm very sorry. Um. Okay. Is this string strong enough? I lost three pounds. I'm feeling so skinny. I'm feeling so, so little. I don't speak pills. I'm feeling so slim. Like, I feel so skinny now. cell phone again i'm smoking dope i'm on my cell phone whoop i actually am yo smoking dope oh my god real quick because that just triggered a memory me saying i'm smoking dope racism really flew over my head as a kid because i just did not give a fuck like i was so immersed in blackness that racism was just like <laughs> laughable so it just wasn't landing as offensive for me as a kid like my sister, when she was in middle school, she came home one day and she was like, yeah, she was in class. All black kids is white teacher. And she was like, they was cutting the fuck up, basically. And this teacher got so mad and went on this rant about their behavior and if how they didn't want to change, then they could go back to the ghetto smoking your dope. Like, my dad was like, what? So it's this inside joke with our family now when somebody like got when we got each other bent or fucked up we'd be like you can go back to the ghetto smoking your dope <laughs> but it's like for me for once a week me saying that to my daddy based off something my sister's teacher my sister's old white male teacher said to his classroom of black students it wasn't maybe until college that i sat and thought about it it was like wait that's so racist but shit like that happen all the time in Richmond but it's like I just need you to understand like if I'm with majority niggas and we're cutting up and you're being racist and mad it's giving Dame Dash versus uh O'Reilly it's just hilarious like what do you mean so yeah racism really don't affect me until it's like I'm in an environment of majority white people and then I'll be like oh fuck like this is actually really fucked up. <laughs> Other than that, I just be like, white people so ridiculous. Oh well. But anyway, I'm actually on time for class today and I don't want to ruin it. But I do need to eat something so that I don't die in here. I'm not going to finish this. I'm going to throw up if I do. Um, And then I just have, okay. I'm going to wash it down. Seasonal depression was whooping my ass and that's a lot of whooping. Everything is so much better. I feel like I can make it. The storm is over now. I don't see myself going anywhere today. Basically what I'm saying is I think I'm going to have like 
a full day of rubbing the baby's belly. <laughs> I hi bear. Okay. Look at me. Look at the wind in her hair. Look at this camera. It's a pocket camera. Why do you camera? always have a new camera? <laughs> I was like, because I need cameras to live, Brittany. Good night. Da 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 da. time for the full Kendall Jenner experience. Um, it's not gonna give Fruit Ninja, so just go ahead and chill on me. Cucumber, cucumba, <laughs> vitamin, mineral, very high number. I don't know why, I just feel hella goofy today. I'm probably on the verge of a breakdown. Two come cucumber that once was like a lot for me. That's what she said. I actually need a bowl. She knows her way around the kitchen. Chives. You chive turkey. <laughs> I was the child that was like, I literally cannot wait to be an adult. I cannot wait for agency. Being an adult, honestly, I have no complaints. Like, I mean, yes, complaints because like bills and like clear my student loan debt. But I just like agency. I love, I just like my freedom. I don't like answering to people. I like a complete and utter lack of consideration for anyone but me. Uh, that's, that's my vibe. That's my vibe. All I think about is me, Jesus, my dog. And I think all three of us are happy and that's all that matters. Let me show you what we're working with. Okay.
Wait, I don't think you can actually see the predicament that I'm working with. So basically what I'm saying is like class was really good, but I'm trying to be that shit home. I don't want to be, I don't want to be in that. I don't want to be in it. 